right, what's up, you guys? So I wanted to come on here and I obviously talk about like PA school stuff and getting into PA school uh, to just kind of help you guys on your way. But to be honest, I just really wasn't feeling it. It's been a really rough week at work. So I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys about like some of the things I hate about my job, <laughs> essentially, to just kind of give you guys a little bit of insight on what it's like to be more of a like more specifically a trauma PA and then just kind of give you guys an overview so you can really make the best informed decisions on the career that you want to get into and the specialty that you want to get into. So let's get into the video right now. What's up you guys? It's Adana, welcome back to my channel. So um, as the title says, you know, I don't like my job and it should really be like dot, dot, dot all the time um, because there is, there's so much involved in being a PA, but more specifically a trauma PA. And so I wanted to kind of just address those things because I know I put out that video last week um, where I do like my job, okay? I like it, I like my hours, I like all of that, but I just um, got a little bit more perspective and I wanted to give you guys some perspective, especially after the week that I had um, on some of the things that I really don't like about about my job like I really hate these aspects of my job the things that I have to deal with and so you know that's what I'm gonna be talking about so like one of the the, the first things that I don't like about my job is that it's really difficult uh, at times and difficult in that we have a heavy patient load because there's so many cars on the road so we get to see a lot of motor vehicle accidents um, and then uh, we are short staff and so with that being said it makes things that shouldn't be difficult more difficult and, and obviously I'm pretty sure that this is across the nation that most hospitals are short staffed um, you know not enough nurses not enough providers but when it comes to being on a trauma service where your patients are extremely sick where you know they need lots of nursing care and they need to be able to be seen by a provider in a timely fashion it's difficult uh, it makes things a lot more difficult we're relied on as PA is a lot more uh, in our hospital the trauma service is like really like big and so at the end of the day um, we get called for a lot of things and on top of just taking care of our like 60 patient census you know it's like man this is this is a lot so I, I don't like that I, I wish that we can get back to times where it wasn't short-staffed and we weren't asked to do more things than we signed up for but you know such is life you know it, it is what it is but it is an aspect of my job that I don't don't like another aspect of my job that I don't like it which I've talked about a lot uh, before and I've been talking about a lot more lately is just the the trauma of it right like I feel like my job is super emotionally taxing uh, and it can also be physically taxing but more so emotionally taxing so I love my 24-hour shifts I really do and depending on the night I can have a really good night or I can have like a bad night and this past week I've had really bad nights um, either really bad patients in terms of being extremely sick or just lots of like funneling and fielding of nursing calls and kind of being an operator in terms of like oh do you know the number to this and I'm like yo it's three o'clock in the morning why are you calling me call the operator so like things like that kind of annoy me when I'm trying to like get a little bit of rest before this next trauma comes in because you never know when a trauma is going to come in uh, but also it's just emotionally taxing when you are seeing young people on a consistent basis come in and either lose their life or um, you know end up with a disability that they didn't wake up that morning thinking would happen and it's very 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 hard to to do that um, so I guess the theme of this is like like all the hard things that I hate about my job, okay? Um, when I'm seeing young and even old, but more so young people come in from like gunshot wounds that are dying or stabbings that are dying or motor vehicle accidents that are dying, um, it's difficult because they have so much life to live. You know, it's so sad. Uh, and you're coming into this on a consistent basis. I do remember there was a point in time where every time I came into work, 
someone was dying. There'd be somebody that came in either like dead on arrival or they came in and we just couldn't save them. And that is so difficult. It's so emotionally taxing because it's like, man, like we're doing all the, these various different things that we can do, especially when they're young and we couldn't save us. So that is really ha hard and in conjunction with that like the last thing that I don't like about my job is telling the family members that their loved ones have passed or that their loved ones are you know paralyzed or uh, the life of their loved ones will no longer be the same and they now have to go to like a long-term care facility or whatever the case may be it's it's hard it's not easy um and it's definitely something that i've realized like i don't want to do for a long period of time i've been in trauma for over two years now and it's it doesn't get any easier you know we get to like we're going through the the motions of things you know we go out and we talk to the family members we try to explain things to them in a manner of in which you know that will help them understand like the prognosis but then at the same time like you see these people crying um you see them in such distress because their family members are a hurt and you know you can't help but like feel that emotion and that pain and so i just wanted to touch on these things because i come on here and i'm like i love my job it's the best job ever. I love the PA career. It's great. You guys should get into it. Um, I love being a trauma PA. You know, it's wonderful with these 24-hour shifts. But then I have weeks like I had last week or days like I've had, you know, on my last shift of work where someone comes in extremely hurt and it's extremely emotionally, mentally, and physically taxing. And I just wanna give you guys all of the things that you really should be looking at when you are considering a career and a specialty. Um, and a career meaning like being a trauma nurse uh, or a trauma PA or a trauma surgeon or a surgeon in general or any type of provider, a uh, physical therapist, occupational, th whatever the case may be. There are lots of careers in the healthcare world, but you really need to be able to look at them individually and see what works best with your temperament and with the lifestyle that you want to live because honestly, things get rough. It's not easy all the time. And especially when you are possibly like losing patients or have the the high probability to lose a patient's life, it's really, really good if you guys can take some time and, and make the best informed decision. Because if that's going to be so physically and mentally and emotionally taxing to you to where you it spills over into your everyday life, like it's best that you just go ahead and not get into that career. Um, so just wanted to give you guys that information because yeah, it's not the easiest thing. And at the end of the day, although I do like my job on most days, there are days when I actually hate my job. So um, just want to tell you guys that. Sorry for the doom and gloom if that's what you guys felt. I just wanted to make sure you guys were well informed. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great Memorial Day weekend. Stay safe. Please buckle up drive safely um, and make the best informed decisions with the actions that you're going to take this weekend. Also, if you haven't already and so like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA and on Instagram at Get That C University. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.